Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, Sean's Gardening Edition. Yes, this video is going to be dedicated to working on the garden and making it look a lot nicer than it currently is. If you haven't already, make sure you check out all of our other different vlogs from moving into our new home here on the channel. I've been to home base this morning and I've bought these. Now I mentioned in the last video how I was going to put some planting down on the right hand side here. Well I've gone for five of these lovely conifers, gone for these two bigger ones just here and then yeah these lighter green coloured ones here as well. So I thought we'll have a nice mix, I'll get five and I can kind of alternate them all the way down the side. Also just here, I've got a nice fire pit. This was a bit of a last minute purchase because let's face it, it's not really the time for buying gardening things. So there was a lot of stuff being sold off in home base to make way for Christmas. So I thought, wow, I'll get this nice fire pit because it was half price. Look at that. Yeah, I paid uh, 25 pounds instead of like 60 for it. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And then here, I've got some of the nice artificial grass that's going to be going down. Obviously, I've still got to prep the ground area for it because um, it is going to be going just here. However, yeah, got the artificial grass. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be putting all this out and also as well, going to be working on the fiberboard decking that I've got ready to go just over at the side there. And yeah, that's going to be coming down here. Dad's going to be coming and uh, helping out with that. And there he is, digging the conifers into place. He's doing quite a good job. Oh no, he's caught me. There we go. Hello there. It's coming on alright. It, it is indeed, yeah. What do you think to them uh, nice conifers? I like them, I think they're very nice. Yeah, colour coordinated down the side. Yeah. Hopefully just give a bit more privacy off from the fence there on the right. Because obviously we've got the big shed here, the ones going in down the back, I just wanted to kind of block it in a little bit more exactly. there on the right. Those are good all year round as well, we're not going to get loads of leaves everywhere and stuff, low maintenance. Uh, which is what we wanted, but uh, yeah, it's coming on well. It is. Uh, here you go, I've put the artificial grass out just here. It's not going in that location. I just wanted to know how long it was between the shed and where I'm doing the border, which is going to have stones down there as well. So obviously this is the deck in here. Um, but yeah, I just laid it out just to get an idea on the length. Uh, I made sure that I measured it for one piece because I didn't want to start joining the bits of grass and that sort of thing. Want it all to be together. Yes, yeah, so this is a four metre by two meters, so two meters this way, four across, and it will go kind of starting from here and then across down. So it's probably going to come to somewhere about here, and then obviously we have all stones and landscaping around there. So yeah, it's coming together nicely. This is going to get painted as well very soon. But yeah, it's looking quite good. I'm really pleased. I've gone from being a theme park expert to uh, a gardening expert within a couple of weeks, <laughs> or at least I'm trying. Here we go then, so I've been working for about an hour or so here on the garden and I'm not a landscape gardener, however I'm quite pleased with how it's starting to come together. I've just laid loads of things out now just to get an idea on the size. Obviously this grass is nowhere near level yet, I've just laid it there for now just whilst I covered over all of the mud because I'm getting very muddy doing this so I thought I'm going to put that down now because that doesn't really need to be level because there's going to be stones on there, uh, a water feature and a few other bits. I've also ordered online some nice edging, so yeah that's going to go across here between the stones and the artificial grass and then the edging is also going to go across the end just there, the conifers that I've planted. But uh, yeah, really good soil that down there actually. So they should grow nicely. Obviously start to grow up a little bit here and then obviously we can just chop them when they get a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice. Wanted some nice greenery in the garden. In terms of planting, that's probably all we're gonna have. Maybe a couple of tubs somewhere, but uh, in terms of what's going into the ground, any borders, that's the only one. And yeah, there's gonna be some uh, stones all in between those as well. But yeah, just to make sure that water can get down to the roots. But yeah, I've just laid it all out. The tough job's coming up really, and that is gonna be leveling out this artificial grass. I've never done it before, but I need to put a sand base down been watching a few YouTube videos, as you do when you're doing this sort of thing, just to try and, uh, yeah, work out what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's the plan um, next, really. I'm going to go down to B&Q. I'm going to get lots of sand. Luckily, um, it's not too bad, but, uh, yeah, it does, especially this bottom corner, you can see how it's kind of sinking that way. So, it needs levelling down, raking over. And I've also just put the fibreboard out here to give a good idea on how this is going to be, because I need to know how far this grass is coming over. However, I've realized that I think I need to take a little bit more out here. I mean, yes, there's gonna be an edger going all the way down here, but I think, you know, I need to just take a little bit more off here. Um, but that's not an issue, I can do that before I put the sand down. And obviously then this is all ready to go um, for the decking to go down. Yeah, so it's looking great, but I wanted to get the grass down first before doing the decking, um, just to make sure that I got the edging right down here. But yeah, it's coming together nicely. 
So it's a new day and dad's back and we're starting with the base for the decking. Yeah, we've got the framework made and laid it out on top of the fabric. Yeah, we've never done this composite decking before. We've always used wood. So yeah, it's something a little bit different. But uh, here's a look at how it's going to be. So obviously I've got rid of all the tiles that were down here, uh, removed those. We might use them somewhere else. And then yeah, just leveling it all up now um, with the wooden framework that we've got. This is a little look at how it's going to be shortly, obviously working across to the right just here. But uh, yeah, firstly, um, we've put all these wooden beams down, putting some stain on those, of course, to protect the wood, then putting the weed control fabric down underneath before then putting the composite decking on top just here. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting this because obviously you don't screw down into the top like you would wooden decking you use these clips like you see the little black clip just in the middle there um and you have like to get the starter ones which we've put four of down at the end and then yeah you do four on the beams of course well it depends how many beams you're putting down but we've done four to keep it nice and stable you put four down then it kind of slots underneath and then yeah it'll literally just slot together like lego all the way across yeah, so it should work out all right, it should. We're not experts, we've not done it before, no, but it's used, coming on. wooden decking before, haven't we? Yeah, I thought it was a bit more long-lasting. It says it can have a life of up to 30 years, this, and you don't have to keep staining it. So, now it's coming together nicely, so I'll get some more footage along the way. But yeah, we're just kind of working along in this direction. This is all being levelled up now with the bricks and everything. Uh, and yeah, it's coming together quite nicely. Right then, so we got rained off in the end yesterday. However, it's day number two. We've started bright and early. Sun's out this morning here as well. And yeah, it's all starting to come together now here with the decking area. So here we go then, it's looking really good now. I'm very pleased with this. Luckily before the rain came down, we managed to do up to the end just here where we're gonna start lowering it down. But uh, dad's back here for day number two as well. And yeah, here we go, we're starting off with this lower section now. So we're doing the exact same as what we did at the top. However, just lowering it down here. And the idea of this is because this is gonna be the outdoor seating area without a canopy. And then you're gonna come down here, there's gonna be a canopy across, and obviously the door that we're gonna cut into there for access to the shed. We've also moved the bookworm now, so he's out of the way um, to do this section. And yeah, it's coming together all right, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, all right, so, yeah. yeah, we've got Pretty started well. nice and early. Yeah. Put the uh, control down at the bottom there, stop the weeds coming through. Then we've put the base on top. Bit of a different style framework because we had the old concrete base under here from the old shed to use for that, didn't we? Yeah, and we didn't want to get that up, did we? So. Yeah, and then as we can see just here, we've done a step. So yeah, obviously in the long term, there's going to be a canopy over this section to here. So yeah, we just put a, a fibre board across. Uh, a bit like an L shape really, and then just screwing that into place there now as well. So yeah, it's coming together nice. So obviously we're gonna continue on along this way, and then obviously, yeah, the decking is gonna go down here as well. But yeah, this will be its own little framework for this section because we're gonna have to cut the boards there to fit into this space. But yeah, it's all coming together really nicely. I did clean it all off last night as well. Obviously it's got muddy again with us working now, but um, yeah, it looks really nice when it's all polished, which is great. We've been getting on quite well, haven't we, Dad? Yeah, time for rest again, though. Now. Oh, yeah, but it's looking good. Here we go. So we've gone all the way from that wall, got the step just here, 
and then all the way across here as well. We just had to make sure this was all nice and level down here, of course, as well, um, because, yeah, we were just basically using the old base just there from the old shed just to make it uh, level across uh, to this one. But, yeah, it's looking really nice now and perfect precision just over here. Look at that. It's fitting just right over here at the end, which we are really pleased about as well. So, yeah, obviously done all the way across here now. The next part of this project will be building the framework for here and then obviously we're going to put the fiberboard decking across just there as well. Well, we spent the best part of two days working on it. It's looking great, isn't it? Looking good. We just need about another eight pieces to finish it off, I think, really. Yes, yeah, so all the framework's done for that corner. Um, and also a finisher for around the edge. Kind of similar to how we did the step just here. How we've attached that on. That's the plan to have a nice finisher all the way around here. And then, of course, the next phase will be leveling all this out before we permanently put um, the grass down the stones and the water feature as well. But yeah, it's looking really nice, isn't it? Like, thanks for helping out, it looks yeah, awesome. Right. I've done for today. Yeah, you're all done, clocked off, yeah. Clocked off, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what's funny is as well, like we pushed this shed over here temporarily, and look at that, it's all just worked out beautifully, hasn't it? Like, I can't believe that just fits there. Yeah, fantastic. But yeah, my original plan, obviously plans always change when you're doing things. Originally, and when I showed you the garden, um, it was just gonna be a walkway going across here, and that's why I only ordered this amount of decking, because that was going to be in the middle and there was going to be some planting at either side similar to what i've done there however now the plans have changed as have been ongoing if you remember originally i said there was going to be a canopy across all of that section well now the majority of that's going to be left out for like a sun deck area there's going to be a small canopy coming off the house here and then this is going to have a canopy over it in the long run but that will be the last phase of the garden project but there we go decking other than that corner he's done that's only about another 45 minutes job or something there just to yeah. cut them put them across and then happy days really then we can start leveling all this out and doing the landscaping and also i'm going to get that shed painted soon as well but uh, there we go i'm sure dad will be back again soon yeah to come and help out yeah. and uh yeah it's coming together really nice we're getting there well, miraculously, since that last clip, I've had my hair cut. There you go, Charlotte's cut it. <laughs> no, she's not really. But uh, tell you what, hopefully now I'm going to start trampling mud into the house. Yeah, because I keep having to mop the floor. Sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> it's coming on nice though. What do you think to the day? I think thing? it looks really nice. I think you've both done a really good job. It's turned out better than what I was expecting. I thought it was going to look good when I planned it all out. But now, I've seen it in person, I think it looks really nice. It makes the garden look bigger, actually. Yeah, it does. And you've got to think, we've worked it out that really there's going to be about 60% of the garden uh, that's decked and with the grass and with the border. Um, so you've got over half the garden to enjoy all the lovely weather that we're going to get. Exactly, in the summer with a few <laughs> ice slides, maybe a barbecue. Yeah, it should be nice. Might uh, cook a, a couple of sausages that on the barbecue nice. over in the summer. Another video for you all to look mm. forward to. Uh, but yeah, I know we're really into winter. It's not the time for doing a garden. But to be honest, it's been great because I've got something's cheaper than I normally yeah, would have. Yeah, because it's not in the summer season. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the decking looks great. Obviously, we it need to finish great. that corner off and put the finisher on. Um, but we thought, you know, I just need to order some more of that. And um, we've got something else what's coming now. We've got the big shed. Uh, they're just called up. They're actually on the way today at the time of recording to come and deliver the big shed for the bottom oh, of the garden. Exciting. It is, yeah. I mean, it had a five-week delivery time for that. And uh, five weeks has flown it's by. So fast. Yeah, it's coming. And in the next video, we'll show you it. It's going to be coming on three big pallets. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. Obviously, it's going to be a little while yet until it's installed because we've got to prep all the bottom of that area. There's some concrete bases that we're going to put in the sides and uh, a big wooden framework. It's going to take some time to get yeah, it right. It's a big job to make sure it's fully right. Yeah, that's the thing though. With something like that, it needs to have good foundations. It needs to be stable. Look at the barn shed turned out really well. All the decking um, has come out nicely as well. And uh, yeah, also I'll paint the shed at some point, the barn and uh, finish off with the stones and the artificial grass. But we thought for now, until the big shed's here, let's hold off on exactly. that and uh, focus on the decking so we've got somewhere to store that that isn't in the way of where we're actually going to be building exactly. this thing. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Thank you very much for watching and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures. See you all in the next video.